What's up guys, it's Jack from Diamond Awake here, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this Quest longboard. But before we get into it, a huge shout out to Quest Boards for actually sending me this board. And if you're interested in buying a Quest board after watching this video, you can use this discount code right here next time you're on Quest's website. So enough talking, let's get into unboxing the board. So I actually don't know what kind of board this is yet, if I'm being honest. They just told me that they were going to send me a longboard and they didn't specify which one. So it'll be a complete mystery, which is pretty cool. We'll be able to figure out what's gonna happen. Leave everybody in some suspense, but. Oh, it looks pretty good right now, but just opening up the box. It's a typical box. You'd find these in factories or anywhere that you would see packages. There's nothing too special about this box, but the special thing is gonna be what's inside of it. Oh my. Okay, so taking the board out of the box, let's throw the box up there because there's nothing left in that box. This is the board. It looks like it's a drop deck long board, which means that from where the wheels start, the deck is going to drop down. It doesn't look too big either. It looks pretty similar size to my other longboard that I own, but this graphic on the bottom is pretty cool. It's a bear and it has the Quest logo, and it looks like the whole thing is made out of wood too. Enough talking about the board. Let's open the board. We'll cut open this plastic right here, and we'll tear it away and we'll get to the goods. Okay, so I've just about got all the plastic off this board. It's very tight right around the trucks. The, it seems like the plastic is tucked under the trucks, so it's very hard to get off, but it is very well packaged. So you can take that as a positive or a negative because it's difficult to get out, but you know that they packaged it pretty well. So I'll get done with that later, but my first impressions are, it looks pretty slick actually. I like the grip tape on the wood and then the Golden Quest logo in the middle. That looks pretty slick. And then you go to the back side. This is a really cool bear design, actually. I don't know if bears are their thing or bears are on all their boards, but for this board, I think it fits. And the blue wheels also stand out. And they actually have little bears in them. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess this board is covered in bears. So if you're a bear lover, this is the board for you. One thing I am a little disappointed that it doesn't have is a longboard tool. If you don't have one already, you're not gonna be able to adjust the trucks or tighten the wheels or anything, or change the bearings if that's something you wanna do in the future. And I feel like that's something that every longboard should come with just so that everybody's gonna be able to have one. And I'm a little upset that this one doesn't have it, but I already own one, so it's not too much of a problem. Now I'll go out and I'll ride it and I'll give some first impressions of that. You could take my opinion of this board with a grain of salt because I just recently got into longboards and I have little to compare it to, but I do think it's a pretty good board, especially for a beginner. The best thing about this board is the design. The bears everywhere stand out and the artisan wood carving on the bottom is top tier. This is a damn good looking longboard and it's going to stand out compared to other longboards. Riding it, I felt very comfortable on it. It feels very wide and the grip tape feels strong under my feet. I feel planted to the board and in full control. This is great for people just starting out because they'll feel comfortable and they'll get the hang of it quickly. My younger sister had never ridden a longboard in her life, but she was able to get on it and ride down the street for the first time. Just ignore the awful stance and the crazy arms that she's got going on. Another feature I liked about the board was how it handled rough surfaces. It's very flexible and it was able to absorb curbs and cracked roads very well. The thing that surprised me the most about this board though were the bearings. They're surprisingly good for a stock board on its maiden voyage, and they were spitting almost as long as my bones reds in my other board. It held speed pretty well, and it didn't feel slow or sluggish. Something I think that could be better is the build quality. The first thing I noticed when I rode the board was the loud noises coming from the trucks. They don't feel very solid on the board, and they're quite loud going over rough surfaces. When I tightened the trucks, the noise got better, but I like my trucks a bit more loose, and everything felt clanky that way. It wasn't one solid piece, and the trucks jiggled like they weren't sitting on the bushings until I turned the board. 
A quick fix for this would be to ride with headphones in and ignore the noise, but that's not always possible. Along with the trucks, the wood itself is very thin, which is probably why it's as flexible as it is, but for longevity purposes, we'll have to see if that'll hold up. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the plastic tucked underneath the trucks is very difficult to remove, and I have yet to get it out. This is mildly frustrating because the board looks so good, but I know there's still bits of plastic on it, and if people look close, they'll be able to see it. This obviously isn't affecting the performance, but it's a small pet peeve I have. Even with its flaws, I still think this is a really good longboard, especially for someone just starting out. And if you don't trust my opinion, here's what my younger cousin Mackenzie thinks. So what do you think about it after riding it? It's really smooth, and it rides really well. Great. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again to Quest for sending us this board. If you'd like to buy some Quest products, you can use our discount code right here on Quest website. Both are in the description. Comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.